All right, so final review of the BBR tuning stage three slash stage four engine kit. Now I say. So it kind of falls in the category of stage four. Um, so let's talk about the way it ran before I did modifications. Okay. So with the muffler uh, stock, the way it was, the, was, and like at a stage four, and the uh, carburetor with the reed valve, because I put the reed valve on, didn't notice that much of a difference. So I just let the reed valve on. Um, Basically, what we ended up with was about 27 miles an hour, 28, and I could go up and down hills, and it worked pretty good. But then I discovered that if I um, opened the screw in the end of the muffler, I could get up to 30 miles an hour with the kit, okay? And that was pretty good. And then today, we installed the, uh, um, what do you call it, the, the windowed piston, is a 10 by 20 millimeter with a little notch out of the bottom and we had to put in a uh, size 70 uh, what was it 75 main jet so the stock main jet that came with this was almost the correct one for my altitude so the win there but they should have included the windowed piston and the reed valve so that the size uh, 72.72 millimeter main jet would work because unfortunately, uh, most people have to buy a, uh, a jetting kit for the Rung Tongue Delato uh, high, high, whatever, high performance carburetor, HP carb, and you have to go between 0.60 millimeters up to 70 usually. Uh, most people stay down in the 60s, like 60 through 65. And that worked fine until I put on the windowed piston. And then all of a sudden we needed uh, to go up to all, a little bit lower than 75. I don't have one a little bit lower than 75, so we went to 75. 72 was too low. And um, you saw how it did. So all in all, this kit is really good. The cylinder in the engine kit is a lot higher quality than what I've seen other places. Um, if it came with the reed valve, they could have ported the uh, cylinder. And I have not ported the cylinder, and I don't think I'm going to port the cylinder on this kit because I'm moving up to bigger and better things uh, from Bikeberry. And so I think I'm going to leave this the way it is and not mess with it. And that way it can still be used if there's no reed valve as long as you have a regular piston. So that would be cool. But um, as far as, see, I guess still got the 44 2 sprocket on here. I have not upgraded the sprocket. And um, the thing is, is that there's people saying they're getting 40 miles an hour with the 44 tooth sprocket and just this kit with no reed valve. And if they are, I don't know how they're doing it, okay? The only people that say they're doing it, um, they never show how fast they're going. Uh, and they, they don't use like a GPS to show either. The ones who do show use a bike computer and they usually don't even show it. And the other thing is the bike computers can be programmed to put the wrong speed up, you know, just like a car speedometer or anything. Um, I'm sure you could probably find a way to do it with a GPS speedometer, but um, you get what I'm saying. I haven't seen any proof that without a jack shift kit, anyone is going over uh, 30, 35 miles an hour with one of these stock kits. Having said that, that's what you're supposed to expect out of a moped. Okay, mopeds aren't supposed to go faster than 30 miles an hour. We're still going to attempt it, but um, they're not supposed to, okay? So anyways, today max speed was 31 miles per hour, which was pretty impressive, I think, for, you know, what I've had previously with this. Um, so I had a cold today, head cold, but anyway, um, <coughs> good deal. Now, of course, the kit did not come with the 3.5 liter uh, gas tank either. It came with a 2.5, which is fine. I just preferred this one. It looks better. 
And not only does it look better, but it holds more fuel. Now, I'm going to check because I put that bigger jet on there and we used more fuel. Um, but I still got plenty of fuel in here. Um, yep, things are looking good. So, if we can improve our torque, if we can improve our torque or top speed and all that good stuff uh, with the next kit, then uh, maybe we can go to a smaller sprocket. But for right now, uh, going up hills, we're still uh, at about the same torque level. We still got we got more torque because when I go up the smaller hills, I notice there's more torque and I've got higher speed. But when I go up the steep hills, the really steep hills, it still wants to quit. It's still climbing and it's going near and it's slowing down. Okay, so um, for that reason, I might pre-port the next kit I put on here uh, on this engine because I it, it is hard for me uh, time consuming to take all the cylinder and everything off because of how I have to do it on this bike and put it all back on so I might jump from stock uh, upgrade kit to ported uh, but there is a catch with that as we just noticed with this the catch is is that if, even with the windowed piston um, it's going to want to run uh, leaner because it's drawing more air and it can't necessarily meet the demand of fuel so we might actually leave it alone and just leave it with the windowed piston for now and see where we're at with it and then if uh, we decide that we're running as the, the carburetor is running as rich as it can with the jets that we have then what we might do is order a, another jet kit for it before we decide to port or do anything like that so that way we know in advance that we should have a jet that will give us enough fuel to compensate for porting or anything like that. The other thing you got to take into consideration is gas mileage. So running a .64 main jet and the Delauto carburetor is obviously much better fuel economy than running a uh, 75 main jet. So, you know, there, that's like a, a 0.10 difference, and it, I think there's a lot of fuel difference there. I could be wrong. So, if you're going for a con fuel economy, you may not want to, uh, you know, continue upgrading as I'm going to do. But this bike is supposed to be a commuter bike. It's supposed to get me back and forth, up and down hills and everything. And having said that, It'd be really awesome if I could do that, okay? And you need horsepower to make it up and down hills. It's just, that's what you need. You can put a bigger rear sprocket on, but then you get a lower speed, right? And if 30 was our top speed, if we said we're going to be comfortable with a, a, a top speed, no matter what, at 30 miles per hour, we could put a bigger sprocket on here and have even more torque. And that might be an idea, too. But uh, right now, my shift kit that came on the bike is not working very well. And so it's not really a good idea for me to put a jack shaft kit on here right now because it's not shifting right. And I can't, I can't figure out why. I've watched lots of videos and stuff and adjusted the screws. And it seems like it's just a cheap kit that was put on this cheap bike that I put everything on. So I would like to get a more stable, more reliable bike that I know isn't going to fall apart when I'm going down the road with it. Uh, to do these tests and things, I would feel a lot more comfortable and safe with that than I am on this because this is an inexpensive bike and I just had the wheel, the rear tire go into the frame while I was um, using the bike earlier today. So, you know, I, I'd like to have the uh, Magnum wheels or better and I'd like to have, I'd like to try a 36 inch uh, or 36 tooth sprocket, but I want to make sure we've got the torque to back it up. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And Jesus bless you. Please click the link in the description video. Uh, so help us on Patreon and all that good stuff. And please tell people about how to build a moped.com because this is awesome. It's amazing. It's fun. It's a great deal. And I hope I get to do the 12 volt system soon. And put the battery on here and the, the generator and all that. I know a lot of people you saying that's a bad idea, but I want to give it a try. And if it doesn't work, we can always uh, take the generator part off, put the regular magneto back on and just charge the battery. That works too, as some people have said. 
but in any case, lots of fun. Um, because of the high idle on this thing today, it was hard to stop. Uh, you saw that I got to an intersection, I pushed on the brakes, and I stopped in naked time. So the next upgrade kit should be safer because we'll have a lower idle, which means we'll be able to stop a lot easier. Hello everyone, we interrupt your broadcast to bring you Subscriber Bunny, reminding you to subscribe to YouTube and give to our Patreon and all of that wonderful, great stuff. Now back to your regularly scheduled video.